most people think you need a big, expensive drone for professional inspections. But here's the surprise. The new DJI Mini 5 Pro might actually do the job better than you expect. After 20 years of surveying and inspections, I've tested plenty of drones that overpromise and under deliver. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how the Mini 5 Pro performs on real inspection work and whatever this small piece can truly handle the big jobs. This is a DJI Mini 5 Pro. It's a C0 class drone, requires no special license and still comes with a one inch sensor camera. Here in the UK, if you want to fly it commercially, all you need is insurance and that costs around 10 pounds a month. For inspections, the biggest advantage is its size combined with the obstacle avoidance sensors. You can fly close to the walls under the roof lines or around tight spaces without attracting too much attention and without dealing with the heavier regulations that larger drones face. That makes it especially useful in urban and congested area. My preferred method with the Mini 2 was to set the drone to shoot photos at two second intervals, but the Mini 5 Pro allows a minimum five second an interval so instead i record 4k 60p videos and later in the office i extract still frames from the footage here's how i usually fly first i do a grid pattern with the gimbal at 90 degrees just like an automatic mapping mission second i fly orbit starting high then moving lower with the gimbal tilted to 45 degrees finally i add the facade grid for vertical coverage this is my workflow, but I recommend experimenting and finding what works best for you and your projects. Quick note, before we move on, if you want more behind the scenes tips, I don't always share here, plus updates on live Q&As and workshop, check the link down in the description and join my free newsletter. Back in the office, I upload the videos into reality scan and extract the frames. I found that pulling an image every three seconds works the best. Then I upload those photos back into reality scan and hit align images. Some of you might be thinking, but Stefan, you are using a small consumer drone. It can be accurate. Here's the trick. I measure a real world distance using an electronic measure I bought on Amazon for 25 pounds. Then I use reality scan defined measurement tool to scale the model. You just select two points on the 3D model, match them to the measure distance, and the software does the rest. Confirm the two points in the images, then hit a line again, and the model is ready. From there, it calculates the flight texture and exports directly to another software called Nira. Reality scan is free if your company makes under $1 million per year. Nira starts at 19 pounds a month and the value is huge. You can upload your 3D models, share them instantly with your clients and they don't need powerful laptops or heavy software. It's browser-based, smooth and perfect for showing construction projects or documenting inspections. Clients can see photos and models, measure distances, tag defects, and export reports. It's an excellent tool for asset management and inspections. So, can the DJI Mini 5 Pro really handle inspections? From small to medium jobs, absolutely. It's light, it's portable, and accurate enough once you scale your models. It's perfect for roofs, facade, and tight urban environments where bigger drones will cause problems. But let's be honest. It won't replace enterprise drones for large infrastructure or precision surveys. If you're inspecting a wind turbine or a massive industrial site, you still need heavier hardware. The point is sometimes the smallest tool is the most practical. And for many inspections projects, the Mini 5 Pro is more than enough to get the job done. But here's the thing. Reality Scan and Nira app are only part of the puzzle. There's another software I use on construction sites that takes drone data much further, turn it into real engineering output with just a few clicks. That's what I will show you in the next video. And trust me, you don't want to miss it.